Guys, I figured it out. Don't worry, I figured it out. Calm down, don't worry, I got this, I got this. I figured it out, don't worry, I got it. Um, oh, by the way, before I do this, uh, remember the save state here that I was like, I was like, oh, why do I have a save state here? Uh, it was because I was at the end of an episode and I save state between episodes so I don't lose like progress between episodes. That way I don't have to uh, regress to like a previous episode's like progress or whatever uh, in case I die or whatever. Oh, by the way, I just noticed Check out Samus' sprite. She has the high jump boots on for some reason. Her, like, sprite changes when you have the high jump boots. But she has them, but I don't have the high jump boots. Anyway, uh, well, you're supposed to make this jump. I attempted to make this jump one time, missed the jump, and then did not try to make it again. In my defense, I went back and looked at the footage. I should have made that jump. When I was in midair, I was like this or whatever, and then I hit the button. Dude, I swear to God, I hit the button. And Samus even did like a, um, like a, like some kind of like herky, like jerky, like movement, like motion, like indicating that she was like attempting to shoot the grappling beam, but it just like didn't shoot. Oh, you son of a bitch. So I don't know why it didn't, it, it like didn't shoot. If it would have shot, then I would have, uh, Man. Okay, so I still have to. Maybe I just have to bomb one of the uh, the uh, uh, the higher tiles. Okay, can't quite make that. But uh, if I would have just made that, then I would have uh, like had it like top of mind or whatever to like go up here. I even saw the super missiles. And if I would have made that jump and got the energy tank, um, then I would have been like, oh, now I need to try to get the super missiles. Maybe I can go get them. Oh, that troll block ha like has me a little bit worried that maybe I can't actually get it. Pretty sure you can make that jump. But uh, we gotta go up there. We gotta like we gotta like rule it out. Cause my entire plan was to get the freaking super missiles. They're like right freaking there. Like it has to be possible to get them, right? Okay. I'm fully confident that somehow I can make that I can make that. That has to be makeable. And also, if you remember, I was up on top of these grapple tiles when my computer crashed. And then by the time I got that whole situation like figured out, I had forgotten to like come back here or whatever. Or I was like on my way back. If I would have kept going, if the computer hadn't crashed, I would have kept moving to the left and I would have seen the super missiles. And then I would have been like, oh, actually let's try to get those. But I was like on my way back to somewhere else. So then when I like fired the game back up, I just went to where I was going originally. Oh man, okay. And those are probably ball blocks too. Oops, I just fat fingered the D-pad right there. Okay, that, so you just have to get it from swinging or whatever, you can't just run and jump. Oh man, so like those two things happened that like prevented me from like checking this way like like more. Yeah, that happens at work sometimes. They'll be like, oh man, sometimes like the stupidest freaking things happen. You're just like, dude, that shouldn't have happened. Like there were so many like unlikely things that statistically shouldn't have happened that all happened in succession to create the opportunity for this other thing to go wrong, and then the other thing went wrong too. A lot of times there are certain things that can go wrong that, if it doesn't go wrong like very often, like there are certain things that like when it goes wrong, like it goes wrong like more often than we like, we know how to like fix it or resolve the problem. But if it's something that doesn't go wrong very often or ever, if it's like a problem that's happening for like the first time, oh, look at that, if I can just roll through there, fast enough we can get through there but if it's something that's like doesn't happen very often then no one will know how to fix it or whatever hey you can actually make that by a lot 
So if there's like three things that are unlikely to happen that all happen in order to create the opportunity for this other thing to go wrong, those three things don't happen very often. Yeah, you cannot roll across those. God dang it. So because those three things don't go wrong very often, then the other thing or whatever doesn't get caught either because it's a pro- like the net result is a problem that like never happens. Oh god dang it. There has to be a way to get those. Like everything is like hinging on it. Well, I, I cannot walk to the right. I was pressing right on the D-pad. It was like, like not moving. It's weird. Oh man, also I was thinking uh, that white door uh, in that area right there in the middle. Um, it's a white door. I wonder if white door means that we need ice beam to open it. Not uh, entirely sure. Because it's not gray. Gray means locked. But uh, white might mean uh, might mean you need ice beam. I wonder if orange means like spacer or something. Yeah, I don't know. I know spacer is not an orange colored beam, but... Hum... Do you really need speed booster to get that? Oh, look at that. What do you want to bet those are fall blocks right there, right in front of it, sons of bitches. Wow, I can't get up that. I can't get up there. I can't get the super missiles. By oh, the way, I didn't say it. The way I the way I pronounced it in the other episode was like on purpose. You ever watch like Dragon Ball Super? Uh, where it's like the uh like the Japanese version, and they'll be like Hong Chong 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 Super Saiyan. Like the way they say Super Saiyan is like so like weird sounding. So I was kind of saying it the way they say Super Saiyan. God fucking damn it, dude! I cannot believe that I can't get those. Everything was like hinging on being able to get those. I'm like 100% like stumped now. I was 100% confident that I'd be able to get those. And then I was like, oh, we'll be able to start start off with progress after not making progress for the last two episodes. But I can't freaking get them. That's unbelievable. I'm like flabbergasted that I can't get those. What other options are there? I did get another energy tank. I could try the stupid, uh, the stupid, uh, the other lava room. Maybe it's possible with this other energy tank I have now. Which, by the way, like, I felt kind of misled by, um, by that whole situation. Because you had to go through the one lava room, and then you go, th you, you bust open the grapple tiles to access the other lava room. So it made it seem like that was going to be progress, but then I couldn't survive that way either. But now I got this other energy tank, so maybe now it's possible. So part of me was like, oh man, it sucks. I didn't make any uh, progress for the last two episodes. It's like, well, I feel like I was kind of like misled. Like the game was, it felt like the game was like leading me in that direction. Plus in that other ROM hack, we had that, uh, that place where you had to go like a super long time and take, you had to like, where you had to like run through that like super mega long room and take like, like tons of heat damage. So it's not outside the realm of possibilities of what they'll do in a ROM hack. Oh god damn it. I guess um I guess we'll meet back. I'll try that room again. I don't have any other like like I don't have any other uh like ideas on like what to do. Maybe 50 more energy. Like how how much time does that buy me? Does that buy me like six extra seconds? I mean with two and a half energy tanks. Plus the reserve tank. Oh, that might be enough. Um, we gotta try it. I don't know what else to do. I'm completely out of ideas. 
so I guess we gotta try it. So we'll be right back. God dang it. I thought maybe there was like a small chance that you could uh, bomb the top one, but uh, nope. Oh, look at that. We gotta power bomb this place at some point. Yeah, I don't know. I know I already checked this place, but I'm looking at here. I'm looking at this. I know I can't go down that long shaft, but I'm sitting here going like, like there's no way that like that many places are like inaccessible. And it's been a while since I played this, so it's like okay, well, because I'm like desperate, it's like well now I feel like I should uh, go back and just like double check just in case since I was like passing by anyway. Aha, uh -huh, found another secret. This tile was like suspicious and see how it's like uh, empty like underneath. Oh, so that's the second secret that I found in a save room. Oh man, yeah, I should probably not keep track of that. There's that part of me that like, for some reason, like as I've gotten older, I started like feeling the need to like keep track of like more stuff. But it's like, if I, like I can't keep track of like everything that I feel the urge to like keep track of. Oh wait, I was supposed to be, uh, I was gonna like check the rest of this area. Cause I have like so much like stuff that I like keep track of. Like I should probably not keep track of that too. So like lately I've had like it's gotten like kinda I don't wanna say where it's like a problem, but I don't know, in general that's the thing I started like doing like more. But it gets to the point where it's like now I have to like decide what I wanna keep track of and what I wanna just like not keep track of. Like I have to like consciously decide to like let it go, you know, because if I keep track of everything that I'm trying to keep track of then it'll be like overwhelming, it'll be like too much. Uh, but in all honesty, I'll probably just remember, even though I'm like not trying to keep track, I'll probably just remember. I remember that it happened once and that was like years ago. Like I wasn't like trying to like hold on to that memory, it just like, I just remembered, you know? Oh my God, that jump is makeable. I know I'm probably sequence breaking something by like going up here, but I'm like so heckin' desperate that I don't even care. I'm pretty sure that's makeable. Oh god, dang it! Maybe not. They put that other tile to like block you, even if you do get a wall jump. Oh my gosh! See, look at that. See, it's makeable. Ugh. Get out of the way, dude. It'd be, nice if, it'd be nice if I could get rid of that guy. Oh, come on, man. You know, I only have to bomb jump a little bit to get up there. Maybe I can bomb jump enough to get up there. Oh wait, maybe not. Oops. Oh my god, I made it! I made it! Okay. I wonder if they're gonna put something else to like double cock block you. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, well let me let me at least see what they want me to. Pretty sure it's just gonna be fall, right? Yeah. 
Oh man, it, it's still not gonna let me have it. Oh, maybe that'd be like shootable. Well, it is shootable, but you know what I mean, right? Like breakable by shooting it. Oh man. Maybe that. Maybe this thing up here is just regular shootable. It is. Like, God, don't fucking die, though! God damn it, now I gotta make that fucking jump again. Well, I fell in the fucking lava, and that took all my life, and I'm like, oh, no, I'm not in any danger of dying, so I don't need to, like, refill all my fucking life. God damn it, I don't care. We're getting up there. I made it up there, dude. I know it's possible. I did it once, I can do it again. I'm doing it, man, and I saved right here. So I don't even have to, like, go far. Whatever's up there, it's, um... It's one of those like circles, so it's like a it's like a progress item. And I'm like so desperate for progress that like the best option for me is to is to like is to like sequence break and get that, because I don't like know what else to do. Like that's the only thing that I know that's like possible, even though it's like kinda hard to do. Like I'm like tenacious, so it's like I'll Or you know, I'm I'm decently tenacious. I'm tenacious enough to get that a second time. Oh show. I don't know how long I was gonna try. But I'm pretty sure that, that like I'm, oh, god damn it, don't fucking fall into lava again, dude. Okay, we're getting all my life back before we go in there. I'm like more tenacious than like average, I guess is what I'm like trying to say. Like I'm not the most tenacious guy like in the world, but I am like more tenacious than like a lot of people. Oh wow, dude, I made that like super quick. That was only my, like, I don't know, seventh or eighth attempt at that jump or something like that. It only took a minute. Oh my God, get up there, you son of a bitch. Oh my God, it reforms, no! Man, so if I go all the way down I maybe get like one attempt before it reforms. Man, of course, they had to make that block reform, of course. I got it. I almost freaking made it. I don't know, man. My hands are starting to sweat. God, how am I almost dead again? Dude, oh my god, I was fucking up there. God fucking damn it, I was up there. Oh, I just had to go to the left. Thanos, why didn't you go to the left? How much damage is each of these like like hits doing, I wonder? Too much is the answer. I actually haven't looked at the exact number. Oh, 20? Jesus Christ. Get the fuck out of here with your 20. Oh my god, dude. Got hit by the very bottom fucking one. Dude, come on, dude. Oh my god, dude. Well, I'm too committed now. I have to fucking do it now. There's no way I can just, like, not do it. Okay, shoot. I got that really quick, too. Oh, man. I was just thinking. I was like, man, I'm actually starting to, like, get, like, hot. I was like, man, I should, like, take my shirt off. But then I freaking made the jump. Actually, hold up. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna do it right now. Hold up. Huh, okay. Yeah, it's freaking... Today is October 21st. 2023 and it's like so hot that I just like took I took my shirt off and I have no pants on either my god please get up there dude I was like pressing the button to respin like so many times but like the game knows when the stakes are high so it knows when to like not accept the button inputs Yeah, something I've got on record saying 
thousand times that something about recording like increases the temperature of the room by like 20 degrees. So like I wasn't hot when I started, but now now I'm like starting to get freaking get hot. So I was like, oh, I'll just record with no pants. That'll probably be fine. It's like, nope, shirt had to come off too. My god, this is so fucking stupid. Like, why couldn't the game just be like, like reasonable with like, with like showing like the player like what to do so I don't have to resort to this kind of shit, you know? I mean, or at the very, at the very least, could they have these guys not do 20 damage? So if I'm gonna try this, God, dude, it's like setting me up. They're like positioned perfectly. Like if the guys didn't do 20 damage and I wouldn't have to redo that other jump over and over again. Man. Oh man. I'm tempted to like just say F it and give up, but it's like I've made that jump quickly the last two times. I just need like not bullshit to happen for me to like get up there. I just need like the stars to like align in a way that results in like stupid fucking bullshit like not happening so I can actually get up there. Like I can get up there. But I just need the dudes to like not be in the in like the position where they like hit me at the wrong time or whatever. Like it's just like luck. Plus by the way, every single time I've oh my gosh, okay, shoot. I was about to say every single time I attempt this, I always like go to the right on that first uh like, on that first door, which leads you to, uh, this room, but it's, like, a dead end. I've gone to the dead end, like, every time. Except for this time. And I'm, like, <laughs> and then this time I thought I did, but I actually didn't. There's that little part of me that's, like, well, maybe if I get low on health, maybe I should just go down instead of dying. It's, like, well, then I still have to make this jump again anyway, so it doesn't even matter. My gosh. But, nope, not that one. My gosh, okay. I can't believe I'm getting good at that jump. It's like the bitch will not re grab the wall. Anytime I get hit right at that spot where I need to re grab. Where I need to like re-spin to, re to re-wall jump. She never fucking does it. And it's also bullshit because if you're good enough to get up here, if you're good enough to make that jump, you're good enough to do this other part too. So it's not like this is like beyond what I can do. My god. Just get the fuck up there. DUDE! Oh my god, why did she not make that one jump? Dude, it was like right the fuck there. Oh man, I had like a free shot at it. Oh my god, please shoot up. Please shoot up. Dude, the ones that are, like, the most critical ones to hit are the ones that, like, never hit. Whenever it's like, I just need to hit this one wall jump to make it. That's the one that, like, never fucking, like, jumps. It Like, the wall jump, like, never works on, like, the one that I need it to, like... The one that I need it to, like, work, like, the most. Alright, I guess we'll just meet back when, um... When I get up there. We're getting up there. So let's just meet back when I get up there. I think I've shown enough.
Okay, got up there quick again. Yep, go all the way up just to fall all the way back down. Awesome. Oh my god, I fucking made it. I can't believe I turned into a freaking ball and still saved it. Good god. Okay, that also did not take very long. Oh man, this I remember this room from Metroid uh, Fusion, I think, right? This looks like we're getting Spider Ball. Uh... Okay, that's not a progress item. Something open, though. Oh, wait, it just make... It's like making this thing move. Maybe I can, like, grip it at, tho at those points, but I don't have the item. What's the point of coming over here just to go back? Oh, I, like... I just like opened the thing and now now I would like go back and then go to the uh, thing that it opened did they put this guy here so that you could get your life back in case you uh, in case you cheesed it so you could uh, survive uh, running through the uh, the acid to get back because that would be like that'd be like kind of funny but it's like well I could just take a death but I also kind of want to see if it's possible to make it back Man, I can't believe I did all that. Well, I, you know what? If I can make it back, then whatever uh, thing that opened will be opened. I'm assuming it's something like in Kraid's lair, right? I mean, I'm assuming that's reasonable to assume, right? <laughs> oh, I'm full. I'm not like, like, I'm so used to uh, like assuming that 99 is like full. Oops, helps to jump. If I jumped, I just hit the button too late. Okay, luckily the dudes give you 30. And I think most of the energy balls I've seen in this game are like the big ones. I haven't seen too many small ones, which is actually nice. Okay, we're getting those last two. We, need, we're, we might need every single energy. Okay, we made it back with plenty to spare. Okay, so what did that open? Maybe the door... There's like a uh, door beneath. Maybe it opened that. Make sure to go to the left. Actually, what was on that one single ledge? Or that one block or whatever? Oh, whatever, might as well see what this is. If it's a super missile expansion, that'll be just as good. Oh my god. Should I do one of these? And go like that to get it? Oops, okay. I was pretty sure that was going to be troll blocks right there, but it was not. Okay, another reserve tank. That's actually good. That increases the chance that I'll be able to uh, survive in the uh, the other lava room. Or the heat room, rather. Okay, and power bomb for, for here. I can go further. Oh, I am curious about that one tile that was sticking out. Plus, they made it where... um. Where it's like fall through only. I see right there. They made it so it's fall through only, so you have to you would have to come up here again to get another chance at it. Oh, that might be a secret. But you know what? Since I'm already here, you know what? No, I can't risk. I can't risk dying and losing the progress I made already. I'm just gonna go back and save. I'm gonna cut my losses. I guess it's not a loss. I'm not cutting my losses, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and like just like take what I take what I got. Also gonna get my energy all the way back in case I f up and fall in the lava, because you can lose lots of energy falling in the acid or whatever. 
and like stupidly dying by missing a jump in this next acid room is like the last thing I need. I don't know, I spent way too long to get that where there's like no way that I, uh, that I'm gonna like risk it, you know? You know what, I really wish that, that I knew if that door had been opened before. Oh wait, I still have to full, uh, fill up the reserve tank. Because if it just opened the door b uh, below, then I already got the thing that it unlocked. So I actually don't know if uh, if I already like used the, uh, or if the, oh my gosh, I forgot about this guy. Uh, my point is that if it opened the door right below me, then there's not gonna be another door that's gonna open that's going to be open. So I don't know if I need to be looking for another open door or not. You know what? This place isn't that big. I might as well just check everywhere to see if something is open now. Okay, let's go back up and save again. Also got to remember to... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a save state too, just in case the game Fs up. Oh my god, that was so ridiculous. Man, I was kind of hoping for, like, a super missile expansion. Then I wouldn't have to worry about getting that other one. And it would be a legit, um... It would be a legit sequence break at that point. Since I needed the, uh, speed booster to get that other super missile. I'm assuming that because it's on, like, a on like a Chozo, uh, like... What do you call it? Like, a Chozo dude is, like, holding it. I'm assuming that that uh, might indicate that it's the, um... Uh, it's the first thing of super missiles that you would get. Oh, this is moving now, too. Oh, I just turned these on. I can ride on top. Okay. Okay, progress. Okay, I get to see what this symbol means. Oh, it means boss, I guess. Which means that we're probably going to get super missiles. So why is the screen shaking so much? Is that the gimmick? The screen just always shakes the whole time? <laughs> okay, so you have to be like all the way down here. Oh man, it's acid. It's slowly rising. My gosh, there's like no safe spot. The normal safe spot like doesn't work. My gosh. You know, one of the things I like about these ROM hacks is, uh, oh my God, it's very damaging. Is uh, trying to, oh my God. Yeah, it's almost like a tease to add that little notch there. It makes it look like you could uh, hide there, but you can't, or you can, but you'll just get hit. I guess you have to go like this. I guess this works. But one of the things I like is uh, seeing how each ROM hack handles the boss fights. So I always like it when uh, when they like try to like mix it up and make you fight the bosses in like different ways. Oh my god, the lava is continuing to uh, to rise. And also, I forgot I barely have any missiles, so I just like so I like used them all already. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead. God dang it. Wow. Oh my god. This might be freaking hard. Well, because I did that sequence break, what if I'm not supposed to be here? What if that's, like, too hard? What if I'm supposed to have, like, like twice the amount of health to do that? Okay, so that's actually not, uh... What do you call it? Like, magnet ball or whatever. What's it called? Spider ball? I thought that was a spider ball track. But it's just, like, a thing that, like, goes back and forth. That you can ride on top. Which, I mean, it still led to being able to access a new place. So, I guess I guess I'll still take it. Oops, let's not F it up. Oh, man, were there any more of those? Oops, let's not F it up. I'm not recalling any other uh, places where I saw that. So maybe I'll just do a few attempts at this guy. Okay, so we cannot waste any time. And I now know I now know that the um that like staying up here is like the best option. You'll still get hit. Oh my god, did that do 50 damage? Something did 50 damage to me. 
Oh yes, one missile, awesome. You ever watch someone do a blind uh, Super Metroid Let's Play? And then they hit the dude with one missile at a time? It's like, alright, buckle up, it's gonna be a 10 minute fight, woohoo. I'm pretty sure I saw one guy, uh, he would only fire one missile at a time. Even though, like at the beginning, you could easily pump a bunch of missiles into it. He would shoot his one missile and be like, okay, that was my one missile. Now I'll just wait for it to close. Pretty sure a charge shot does do more damage than a missile. But the DPS on missiles like is higher overall. Actually, well, I'm kinda on the on a timer, so I don't really have the luxury of being like, well, I should just uh I should just do uh Oh wait, there's grapple tiles. Oh, and the lava stopped. Okay, shoo, so this is possible. The safe spots might be where you uh grapple from. And I'm also pretty sure he has a ton of health. I've hit him a fair amount. But he's not very damaged yet. I wonder if I can hit him. Uh, maybe if I was a little bit more to the left. He has to stand on the very edge. Oops, don't fall into the lava. God dang it. Whip, I think I'm dead. Um, I wonder if that's possible. Or I could go back and try the lava uh, room. I have 150 more energy. Maybe that's possible. You know what? Let's try... Let's go back to the lava area. With 150 more energy, I feel like that's enough more energy to justify going back and trying again. Because this spore spawn fight's gonna be like really hard. Otherwise, I know a lot of the games made the bosses harder, but to have spore spawn be like that difficult, like that's still like an early boss game or an early game boss. So I feel like it shouldn't be that hard. So I feel like I'm underpowered, which means that I probably shouldn't be here. Plus, I also did do that sequence break that let me access that area in the first place anyway. So let's try the um. Let's go back and try the uh, the heat area again. My gosh, for the first time ever, I like bomb jumped. I gotta jump off the third bomb. But my problem is it's gonna be like impossible to get that energy tank still. It doesn't stay revealed for like very long. Well, I don't think I ha have enough time to even get it even if I get the bomb jump. Okay, so at least I can confirm now that the bomb jump, I guess, is possible. I don't know why it wasn't working all the other times. Like, I like I tried it enough times where, like, I should have, like, gotten it once at least. So because I didn't get it, like, so many times where it looked like I should have gotten it, had me convinced that, uh, that it wasn't possible, but I guess it is actually possible. Oh, uh, you can't even get that with, uh, with the bomb jump. You can't, uh, bomb up high enough. Uh, God dang it. Yeah, I was thinking maybe I could get up here with uh, bomb jumping. But I think that's why they put this respawning guy here to like harass you. To uh, to keep you from bomb jumping. Uh, to get up there. That's fine. We'll get up there legit. I just wanted to like try it. You know, I was just thinking. What if I need the charge beam to open that orange door? Because those robot dudes that uh, that you need the charge beam to destroy are orange. So wouldn't that be silly if uh, if uh, charge beam opens that orange door at the start? I'm already too far in this direction, where I'm not gonna check. I'm not gonna go all the way back and check now, but I don't know. I am curious. Okay, well I actually have enough life to uh, to uh, tank all the heat damage to get this uh, missile, so might as well. 
Okay, let's try this heat room again. By the way, this is a nitpick. I forget if I mentioned this or not, but uh, in the original Super Metroid, if you press, you can press L and R to like point diagonally. If you press L and R at the same time, you would point straight up. And you could do that to point straight up while crouching. You cannot do that in this game. So I wonder why they took that out. Anyway, wouldn't it be nice if I like got this? By the way, also when I was checking my save states in the other episode, I was like, oh, I don't have it uh, revealed on the map that I like went down here. It's like, yeah, Durr, because that's because you died every time you came down here. So of course it's not revealed. That didn't occur to me either. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, just bomb that to get that open. I don't know why the guys didn't appear. Okay, so I need one set of guys to appear. Now I need another set of guys to appear so I can do this. Okay, not 100% perfect, but pretty darn good. Please press right, thank you. Okay, you can just shoot them. You don't actually have to bomb. In the other episode, I was like, oh, you have to wait for a bomb to go off. You actually do not have to... Oh my god. Wow. Okay, so that is possible. That is possible. As long as stupid bullshit doesn't happen right at the very end. Uh, but you know, stupid bullshit happening like right at the like exact wrong moments kind of been like a theme of this episode, but... Also, I don't think I would have been able to do that without that other reserve tank. That I got from cheesing that, uh, or from sequence, uh, doing that sequence break or whatever. So I wonder, like, how you're supposed to do that. Maybe you're not even supposed to, like, go that way. Like, maybe I'm not supposed to go through this other heated room. Because that was still going to be, like, pretty close. Maybe the game wants you to, uh, to, like, kill those guys to get the little extra bits of energy they drop. I don't know, man. You can't, like, slow, slow down at all to get them. They only give you 30. So you would have to, like, not, like, slow down at all to, like, kill them. Plus, yeah, I don't know. All I know is that it's possible. Because it's possible and I'm desperate, we gotta, like, we gotta go for it. can't believe that I just can't go like that. Oh, of course I can do it when I'm like not gonna actually do it. I don't think I've done it like properly like once when I was like actually like trying to. Hello guys, would you like to come out of your pipe please? Oh gosh, freaking worked, I can't believe it. Okay, so let's actually try shooting the guys. Well, I can't stand here and wait for them. That just makes me, like, waste more time that I, like, don't have. And now he's, like, going underneath. Can't wait for that guy. Okay, I'm just gonna... Go for it. Okay, shoo. Alright. Okay, we out. We out. Yes, give me some health, please. Very nice of them to put this here. Oh my god, boy. I'm so glad to finally be done with that. I am not going in there. I'm gonna pray that there's a save room right here. Oh my god, oh thank Jesus. Okay, well, I wanna at least do like one attempt through this other door. So I'm gonna get my life back, resave, resave states. And we'll try uh, and we'll try that at least once. Um, the good news is that I don't have to go through a, like a first heat room in order to get to like do an attempt at the second heat room. So that's actually nice. Okay, here we go.
Okay, don't want to touch that. Okay, noted. Well, I thought I could like run like right past it. Okay, it actually wasn't too bad. There's probably gonna be more though. Uh, am I still taking heat damage? I believe I am. Okay. Um, you know what? When that happens, I'm just gonna go like this. Right back to my save spot. And I'm doing like the claw grip. Oops, I lost all my speed. <laughs> I was doing like the claw grip to try to make it so I had like the most amount of speed going through the door. Also, I'm guessing that hitting that rock probably does like a fuckload of damage for like no reason. It's literally just like a boulder. Okay, so I can survive this with grapple. Okay, there's no heat damage in... There is heat damage in this room. God dang it. My gosh, please be the end. It's probably the end, right? There we go. My gosh, spike ceiling. Don't jump. Don't not jump, dude. <laughs> okay, don't do the thing where you walk off, like, too hard and then, like, hit the ceiling. Oh, man. Look at this big eyeball. It's kind of creepy looking, actually. Oh, my God. I was just about to say, if this requires power bomb, I'm going to be so devastated. Okay, maybe I can go to the left right here. Okay, I was about to say, it looks open to the left of here. Okay, please scroll, Mr. Screen. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> oh, man, I got too, like, it, like, startled me, so I, like, hit the button, like, too hard. God dang it. Okay, so, uh, let's just go ahead and meet back there. That's actually not, uh, too hard to do or whatever. I'll just do it again. Uh, I'll just do it again off camera. That's actually not, like, too bad to do. I even fell into lava. Uh, and I still made it. I didn't know that we we're gonna have to like that we we're supposed to like stop and use like the grapple beam instead of going into the lava. But um, so we'll meet back there next time and we'll go through there and we'll actually start the next episode with actual progress, like right off the bat. So yeah, woohoo! Look forward to that. So that is gonna conclude this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please drop a like on this video before y'all go, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.